Namaste, good morning, good morning, good Tuesday and welcome to this second day of the yoga morning, morning yoga <laughs> challenge. I hope you had a good night's sleep, I hope you're feeling well and rested and ready to practice our second day. So we'll start by finding a comfortable position. If you have something to sit on, I like to sit on top of a folded blanket if you have a cushion or something. And notice if you tend to sit always the same way, always with the same foot in front, it's nice to change because we, we do have patterns in, in our body. So it's nice to change them from time to time. I know I usually sit like this, so I will change my foot, my feet. So I change in a different way, it feels a bit more awkward, not so comfortable, but that, that's the point, so that the body unlearns its patterns, that's also the yoga. So let's find our breath, closing the eyes if that feels comfortable, or you can keep your eyes open, whatever feels best for you today. Finding our way to our breath, breathing through the nose, exhaling deeply through the nose, and again, big inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, and taking this few moments to fully arrive here in our practice in our day. And take the time to set an intention for today. How do you want your day to look like? Is there something special you're looking forward to? Feel the feeling We take another big inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth this time. And you can gently open your eyes if you had them closed. And we start doing a few shoulder rolls to undo the stickiness of the night. Take it easy. change direction. We extend the arms to the sides with one hand. It's one hand is looking up to the ceiling and the other is looking back and we spiral our arms, making a spirally movement like a dancer. Very nice for the shoulders. And back to the center. We bring the right hand on the left knee and the left hand behind the back. So we twist, twisting always from the base of the spine up. We're not just twisting the neck, breathing. As we exhale, we come back, we leave the hand on the knee and we bring the other hand on the opposite knee, crossing the, the arms in front of us. Very nice to create some space in, in the upper back after the night. Inhaling, release, and we go to the other side. So left hand on the right knee, right hand behind the back, inhaling. And as we exhale, we twist to the other side, breathing into the twist. Inhaling, coming back to the center, bringing the, the left hand on the mat. We extend the right arm up, finding a deep side stretch, inhaling deeply. And we go to the other side, inhaling into the side stretch, keeping both sit bones 
on the mat, opening the chest, and again to the other side. One more time, breathing into that side body. And back to the center. We release our support, our cushion if we have something, and we come into all fours. Well, if, if you have sensitive knees, by all means keep something under your knees if, if you feel you need some, some support, to some padding. We come into the cat cow movement. So as we inhale, we look up and arch the back. Tuck my t-shirt. And as we exhale, we round the back. Inhaling, looking up, arching, exhaling, rounding, and make your own version, make it your own. You can keep going as in the traditional cat cow, or you can explore different movements that feel good for you, maybe side to side, maybe it's moving the hips from one side to the other, making like a C shape with your body, with your spine looking over your shoulders maybe coming into child's pose for a moment and back just make your own personal unique version of this movement what works for you today to wake up your spine to wake up your body and we meet back in the neutral position and from here we tuck the toes under Keeping the knees bent, we come into the downward facing dog, pedaling the feet, waking up the back of the legs, bending the knees as much as you need to. We look between the hands and we step the feet between the hands into Uttanasana, the forward fold. We bend the left knee and we keep the left hand on the mat and we extend the right arm up, looking up and exhale, right hand on the mat, bending the right knee, extending the left, inhale, extend the left arm up and we keep going, left hand on the mat, bending the left knee, extending the right arm up, extending the right leg, exhale, right hand on the mat, extending the left arm up, bending the right knee and back to the center, extending both legs or if you need to keep them slightly bent, keep them slightly bent, folding forward, inhaling, half lift, exhale, fold forward, inhale, half lift, Exhale, fold forward. And with strong legs, we come all the way up, inhaling. Extend the arms and exhale, release. And inhale, raise the arms, palms together, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Half lift, you can keep your hands on the mat or you can bring your hands on your shins if the floor is too far away this morning. Exhaling, folding forward and inhale all the way up. Exhaling, release and again inhaling, raise the arms, palms together, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhaling, half lift, planting the hands on the mat, we step into the downward facing dog. Finding our comfortable down dog, keeping the, the fingers widespread. Coming to the plank, so of course you can always keep your knees on the floor, that's always an option. Pushing with the hands against the floor, keeping a strong abdomen, not collapsing on the, on the lower back. And we push back into downward facing dog. As we inhale, we look between the hands and we step 
both feet between the hands, exhaling, folding forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. And inhaling all the way up. And exhale, release. Inhale, palms together, look up. Exhaling, fold forward, hands on the mat. Inhale, half lift, planting the hands on the mat. We step back into downward facing dog. We look between the hands and we step the right foot between both hands, keeping the front knee bent, the back leg extended. And we come into a high lounge, opening the arms like a cactus, cactus arms. Oops. <laughs> pressing on the on the back leg, pressing on the back heel. That helps with balance. In the morning is not so <laughs> not so obvious. And open your chest. Keep breathing deeply. <sighs> Exhaling, releasing both hands on the inside of the right foot. You can walk your foot slightly towards the outside of the mat keeping the arms extended or you can bend them if you have the space for your hip. Couple more breaths here. And we step back into downward facing dog. Already noticing a difference between both sides. And we look between the hands and step the left foot between both hands, inhaling into the high lounge on the other side, opening the arms like cactus, opening the chest, pressing on the back leg, breathing. And exhaling both hands on the inside of the left foot, walking the left foot slightly towards the outside of the mat. Keep your arms extended or bent and find that space, that stretch on the left hip flexor. And we step back into downward facing dog. Looking between the hands, we step both feet between the hands, inhaling, half lift, exhaling, fold forward. And we inhale with strong legs all the way up. Arms together and exhale, release back to the center. We'll do some balances. So let's see how it goes in the morning. We start by bending the right knee. We hug the right knee to the chest. That's, this is already a challenge. Keeping your supporting leg soft. So you don't have to lock the knee. You can slightly bend the knee. You're not locking the knee. Or more challenging, release the knee, keep it up and extend the arms up. A variation of the tree posture. You can point the foot that's up. And from here, we bring the palms together in front of the heart, the chest, and we extend the upper leg back for the warrior three, a variation, keeping the palms together in front of the heart. You can make sure that your hips are square and the back leg is active, the back foot is flexed, toes pointing towards the floor, keeping the neck in the same line as the spine. And bring the hands on the hips and we slowly controlling the movement we come back to the center and to the other side so hugging your left knee to your chest finding a strong supporting leg and you can always keep the slight bend on that knee so it's not locking inhaling extend the arms up towards the ceiling, keeping the knee high, keep opening the chest. We bring the palms in front of the heart and we extend 
the leg back, keeping the leg active, the foot is active, toes pointing down. Make sure your hips are in the same line. You can keep slightly bending the supporting leg, keeping the neck in the same line as the spine. Strong supporting leg, strong balance. Breathing, don't forget to breathe. And inhaling, we release, controlling the movement. Whew. Well done, <laughs> very nice. We're going now towards the floor. So Malasana, opening the feet as wide as the mat. We bend the knees and we sit down. If, you're, if your heels are very high, you can use some support like a roll blanket underneath. That will be easier. But if you have a block around, you can sit on the block. That would be the same action for the hips, but less pressure on your knees if you have any knee issues. So keeping the elbows on the inside of the, of the knees, we press the palms to each other, opening the chest. Breathing, finding our way to normal breath. If the heart rate is a bit high, breath a bit shallow after the balance, coming back to a grounding posture. This malasana grounds us for the day. And think back about your intention, the intention that you set at the beginning of the class. How do you want your day to look like? Is there something nice, something beautiful you're looking forward to? Have that feeling inside. Keep that feeling. It's yours. Now we sit back. Oops. For the Pashimottanasana, for what fold. So disengage the, the sit bones. So you're sitting on the bones. The legs are active, feet active to toes pointing towards the ceiling, extend the arms up and keep extending, extending, extending as you fold forward. So no need to go super deep. Important here is to keep a straight spine because we are in an active posture. So if you hold the feet, you can hold the feet. If you reach the, the tibia, the shin, stay there, whatever you reach. So there's a difference between the active young yoga and the, the yin that we sometimes practice in yin is fine to round the back and to keep everything soft because we are not using muscular effort in the yang we are using muscular effort so we keep everything aligned thank you breathing keeping the shoulders soft and inhaling, coming back to the center. We bring the hands behind the back, the fingers pointing towards the feet. We bend the knees, planting the feet on the mat for the reverse tabletop. So nice opening for the shoulders. Nice counter posture to the forward fold. If your neck is okay, if it's okay for your neck, you can release it completely. For me, it's not good, so I'll keep it up. But you, you choose. And we slowly release to the center, keeping the knees bent. We come into a hip opener. So the right ankle comes on top of the left knee. And here you can see how much pressure you want how much stretching by bringing the left foot closer to the body, that would be more stretch. Or if you bring it more far away, that would be less intense. So you can choose according to, to your body. It's the morning. So always be gentle. And keep breathing into that opening of the hip flexor. Keeping the chest open and we exhale extending a bit more the supporting leg and then we can release the right leg and we change to the other side left ankle on top of the right knee 
see how far or how close you want your right foot to your body. The closer, the more intense, the more far away, the less intense. So you can find exactly the place that works for you today. And keep breathing. Bringing the left foot slightly more far, or the right foot more far away to disengage. And we finish with the Bada Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together, holding the feet with the hands, pressing the soles of the feet together. That will help to open a little bit more, to find more engagement on, on the hips keeping a straight spine. If here you feel already enough on your hips, you can stay here. If you want to fold forward a little bit, you can go ahead where you find the stretch. We stay there for a few deep breaths. And keeping inside that feeling expectation of something beautiful that's going to happen today, something to look forward to. And inhaling, we come back to the center. We use our hands to bring the knees together, always with love, always taking care of our precious body. And you can lie on your back if you wish for a Shavasana for a final relaxation. I say goodbye here, we finish our practice. You can finish by with a meditation or lying on your back for a few moments and keeping that feeling inside of you of uh, how do you want your day to look like. We take a last deep breath in together through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for waking up so early. I hope you, you have a great day. And I hope you feel great after the class. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.